In the previous example, we have just seen how we can create a basic socket programming using TCP module. In this program, we will merge the file streaming along with the network programming. Basically, we will set a watcher on a particular file and as soon as this file is modified, a server will send the data to a client which will notify him like some changes have been made in the file and whatever the data will be sent from a particular server to the client it will all be done in the JSON format. So let's see how we can create some programming like this. In this program of network programming we will cover there is a client uh, and server communication alright so in server what we are doing we are actually taking a file and whenever any updation will be made on that particular file it will notify your client program alright and the complete communication here we are making it in JSON format so let's see how we are doing it here like first of all since it's a file we are taking the file stream namespace and for the TCP it's net module alright so both the uh, modules have been taken after that we will take the file name this time from the command line argument right so when we will start this server program we will pass which particular file we are targeting so whenever a particular con uh, connection will be established by a client so one message connected will be sent on the server terminal and this JSON message will be sent on the uh, clients machine alright so in the JSON format what we are doing we are binding two attributes like type and file name in type it is watching right because we are putting a watch on my file as soon as it is modified we will take that event all right so this watching type all right and file name whatever you will pass there so this is the uh, string that we will send in the format of JSON on the uh, client machine all right which it will pass now since we are using connection dot right so whatever you will do it will go to the client's machine itself now here there's a watcher all right which we have applied on the same file with fs dot watch all right as soon as this watcher will take consider any change in the file like it's a last name sorry last modified time it's got changed anytime when it will happen it will again write one json string for the client in this the type will change from watching to changed and the same file name alright so this is how you can uh, make a trace of these things at the end of the message every time I'm putting the slash n which will signify like okay it, this is the end of my uh, string which I want to send to the client when a client will got disconnected this on close event will come and it will write the message disconnected alright and uh, here if you will not pass any file name it will just throw the error no target file name was specified alright we have covered the error handling in our other modules so you can go and check there and this is the port 1234 which we are using for the uh, as a port number for my server alright so let's see how we can execute this particular program so for executing this node app.js and since you can see I have not passed any file name it thrown it throws the error like no target file name was specified alright so now we what we'll do we'll pass the file name along with that like data.txt as soon as you will do that it will start listening for the subscriber means any client who can come and connect let's see what we are doing on the client side so first of all we'll make a connection with the local host in this port number in the client so this is what we are doing here using the net pro module all right so 1234 is the port number and whenever it this client will receive any data so on that particular event right like that may be uh, the watching or changed but certainly something is being sent from server to client so we are getting that in the message type attribute so we are comparing if the type is watching we are going to print this message if the type is changed we are going to print this message if there is any other type is coming that will be unrecognized alright so just that simple code here let's execute this and see what happens uh, so server is already running for me and here it is my client program so let's execute this by node client.js alright and as soon as I will execute that you see 
there's a message got connected and now watching data.txt if you will disconnect this server all right it will also terminate that server event all right so make sure that when you are writing the server programs it should be able to handle all these types of errors all right so let's restart our server and make the connection now it's connected all right and what we will do now we will actually try to modify this data.txt file on which we have applied the watcher so let's take another terminal either you can if you want you can go directly to the file physically you can make some changes and save it as soon as the light last modified time will be changed uh, this will make the these uh, so client program also affected all right here I'm using it uh, with a Windows command called echo with the file name data.txt so as soon as I will execute this echo command you see like file data.txt changed all right on which we have put the watcher so this is how you can actually make a communication what we have learned here first thing is the messaging all right how we can send the message from any external environment to the client and the second second thing that which we learned is the sending the JSON format from a server program to the client program as you saw like server is sending the data in a JSON format to a particular client but in a real life situation, it is very natural like due to some overhead in the network traffic, there may be some delay in sending the particular data. TCP will break it into several parts. There may be some delay in some of the part which would be sent to, from the server to the client. So in this implementation, we will check out like how we can do the bufferings of the output given by the server so that even if there is a delay in the output client will wait for the complete string to be coming from the servers and it will wait till then so we will add the buffering of data in this particular implementation let's see how we can do that so here in order to pass some buffering from server to client uh, I need to stop the output for some time right so I can't do it practically here so I forcefully I'm doing it like here as you can see I have introduced some timeout thing here where I will pause my output for three seconds all right here in first connection dot write I have sent my half of the string like type changed file data dot txt all right so half message is being broken from here and uh, the remaining message after that is sent from this let's say uh, after getting half passing the half of the message there is some failure in the network and it may take uh, some couple of seconds so I took three seconds here and after three seconds I will send the remaining message so as from the very beginning I have treated this slash n that is the new line escape sequence as the end of my program I will keep checking that unless and until I'll get this I'll not consider that my message is completed all right so this is what we have done here manually it is not an ideal server forcefully we are making a pause in the data transmission all right and as soon as the connection would be end we will clear this timer as well okay so before proceeding uh, as this pauses or this uh, buffering is required it may be required in some several programs of our own means application so rather than putting that kind uh, directly on the client program what we are doing we are putting this in the library all right so that we can reuse it so here you can see like I have uh, used the events for event emitter things and util package all right so this util package will help us in inheriting things right from this uh, lib client our client application this one will be derived from the event emitter right so it will also start behaving like an em event emitter all right so that's why we have used util package here and here inside what we are doing is whenever we are receiving the data all right there is a variable called buffer which will keep storing the data inside it and there is a boundary which will check the index for this one if unless and until we'll get the slash n that is the new line that is the end of the message we'll keep on taking the data in a loop all right and as soon as we will get that we will break it and we will send the data completely on the client machine so this is all what this library is doing now it is lib.js which I have used and it is again in the very same location where I have saved my client alright 
so you see here I'm using this lib.js either you can only use lib also alright so here again I got connected with this 1234 port which is my server port number on which it is running and you see it's completely the same thing just we have introduced this lib.connect in order to use this facility use the functionality of this library in our client program alright and as soon as this from this particular lib client we will receive a message right after the buffering we will then ch check whether it is watching or change as in application.js that which is our server we have only sent the changed message so of course you will not get this watching message in the output alright so let's see how this uh, program will look like in the execution so first of all we will execute our server program that is node app.js again I don't need to pass the file name at as I said it is a dummy program so it is started listening and in the next command prompt we will execute the uh, client program where it will take a three minutes three seconds pause uh, before displaying the output alright so it's client.js now I execute it connected one two three in three seconds you got this output alright it just didn't uh, showed the output right before right after you executed the program all right it keeps on listening until and unless it got the slash n all right and after every time it will do that it will take three seconds to take this action to complete this action all right so this is how you can uh, start using the buffering concept in your node programs